Today we're going to be looking at some modern 1987 Jefferson nickel coins that are worth some good money. So we'll show you what can make these coins valuable and if you guys have some nickels laying around, things that you can look for in your coins that can make them worth a lot more than five cents. So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. If you guys are new, feel free to check out all the other coin and currency videos here on the channel. We are uploading every single day here on YouTube and on Facebook, so feel free to check us out over there as well. As always, Anyways, let's just hop into this one. All right, starting off with a more extreme type of mint error. This is a 1987 Jefferson nickel P mint mark that has been broad struck. I think this error kind of speaks for itself. Uh, very noticeable. You don't need a coin microscope for anything like this and probably not going to find this in a coin roll, you know. Uh, but this coin is graded by Annex at a Mint State 64, and this nickel sold for a little over $50. Heck, I mean, very unique and uh, cool type of broad strike there for 50 bucks. Already graded. Heck, I'd take it. Now here is a 1987 P Mint Mark Jefferson nickel that has a small little die break there at the bottom of the coin. As you can see, uh, as we zoom in there, you'll see that extra metal also referred to as a cud. This coin is graded by PCGS at a Mint State 64, and this coin sold for a little over $55. So keep in mind, you're going to have to pay to have these coins graded. Uh, you're going to have to pay for shipping and insurance and things like that. Uh, so you're not going to make uh, any money on a $55 Mint error. But hey, if you want to get it graded to add to your coin collection, I support that 100%. Now here is a 1987 D mint mark. The only reason that this coin sold for $56 is because it is graded by PCGS at a mint state 66. So keep that in mind, you know, if you have one at a 65, it's probably not even worth 10 bucks if a 66 is selling uh, for $56. Um, so that's a little high graded version of the 1987 nickel there. Now this nickel here has been struck off center. It only sold for around $35 graded by Annex at a Mint State 63. Uh, but cool off center there. Now here is a valuable coin. This coin ended up selling for nearly $1,200. Over $1,000 nickel here uh, because the 1987 nickel design was struck onto a clad stock. And as a result, it only weighs 4.22 grams. So make sure you guys are weighing your coins out there. Uh, this coin graded by NGC at an AU58 sold, like I said, for nearly $1,200. Um, so you can't beat that. Now here is a 1987 D mint mark that was struck onto a foreign blank planchet. So it weighs around 3.7 grams. Of course, these nickels, you know, weigh around five grams, uh, the real Jefferson nickels, but these are Jefferson nickel designs that were struck onto a foreign planchet here. And this coin ended up selling for over $320, graded by NGC at a Mint State 61. Now here is a 1987 P Mint Mark that is graded at a Mint State 67 that sold for $320. $5. Um, so a high grade example there, $325. The D mint mark at a mint state 66 was at $56. So you can see the a difference in values there. All depends on grade population, how many exist at a certain grade. So, uh, you know, if this was graded at a 65, two grades lower, it would not sell for anything near $300. Um, so keep that in mind. Modern coins like this, very risky to grade unless you are uh, very, very experienced in, you know, coin grading and knowing or, you know, feeling like you're very certain that a coin can get a very specific grade. I wouldn't recommend grading uh, the modern coin just to try to see if you can get a 67 uh, because you pulled it out of a coin roll. I would inspect it very, very closely, handle the coin very uh, properly and things like that. So definitely a lot of years of experience uh, when you're trying to grade coins like this. Now here is a 1987 S mint mark proof Jefferson nickel graded at a perfect grade, a proof 70 deep cameo. Cannot get any higher than that. 70 on the coin grading scale. This coin sold for over $3,000. $3,000 nickel there. Now here are some other nickels that are worth money. Let's move on to this next mint error coin. This Jefferson nickel from 1982 is the P mint mark and it has an obverse die break. So we see that cud there at the top of Jefferson's head. I've shown these on other dated nickels as well. In this case, 
this coin sold for around $30. So again, nothing major, but you always wanna look for CUDs on all kinds of different coins, especially really large ones, because those could be even more desirable for collectors. Now here is a 1982 D mint mark. Now this coin is graded at a mint state 66. So keep that in mind, the grade is what's giving this coin all of its value, graded by PCGS. This nickel sold for over $600. Now keep in mind, if you have a regular Jefferson nickel from 1982, it's all beat up and scratched up. It's not going to grade at a Mint State 66 uh, with full steps or anything like that. So keep that in mind, 600 bucks for that coin. Now here's a 1982 D mint mark that was struck on a bronze one cent planchet. So we know in 1982 there's all kinds of different pennies. If you guys are new to coin collecting, watch my 1982 penny videos. I go into more in the depth of you know different metals that they used and different weights that they had for those coins for that transitional year. Now this is a bronze 1982 Lincoln cent planchet that weighs 3.1 grams. That's why the design of the Jefferson nickel is being cut off because it's on that one cent planchet. So this coin here sold for around $200 as a result of that mint error. Now here is a 1982 P mint mark. We see here at the bottom of the coin where the coin was double struck. That second strike there is 95% off center. And we see that here again on the reverse as well. This coin here sold for around $40. So not really worth having uh, having graded. Something like this, same thing, we have a double strike, but it's a much larger uh, portion of the coin, 75% off center, and this coin sold for around $70. Very cool type of error. Of course, we're not looking for nothing like this in a coin roll, but let's move on to another mint error. This is an obverse die cap. Now this is pretty extreme here as well. 1982 P mint mark. This coin sold for over $880. Look at that, man. That is just amazing. Absolutely love this coin. Now here's something that you can definitely look for in a coin roll. It didn't sell for much. It sold for around $40, but it is a die clash or clashed dies. So we see the reverse design here of the building and the lettering there coming through on the obverse of the coin. Look here at these two lines here. And then above that, you see that little O uh, from the reverse of the coin and then you can really see that kind of there coming out from Jefferson's nose as well So a clash die you can look for those on other coins as well Not just nickels here on the reverse. You will see the outline of Jefferson's head the front design the obverse design of the coin always be on the lookout for those $40 for that coin all right guys Don't forget to subscribe in the middle check out the videos to the left of me and until tomorrow I'll see you guys in the comment section below this is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.